Hi Sanam, so welcome again on our weekly interaction. Thank you, sir. Okay, so today we are going to another country. We are going, uh, we are shifting from Scandinavian countries to now UK, and uh, that is a very, uh, I'll say, favorite destination of for uh, Indian students. Yes, so yes. Uh, Sanam, let's uh, proceed ahead with our questions, and we are going to talk about three main questions today. One is like uh, there are students who are B Tech and M Tech. We are targeting them. So B Tech student can go for MS uh, in UK or he can go for MS plus PhD in UK. Okay. Uh, uh, and a uh, um, person who has already done masters in India, he will obviously go for PhD. So mm -hmm. first question will be related to whether he a student of graduation. And those students who are in graduate, they should target MS or they should target MS plus PhD options. Second question will be related to, you know, uh, that kind of PhD uh, courses in UK. We know there are fully funded courses. There are some self-funded courses. What is the difference? Mm -hmm. That is what second question we'll discuss. And third is the cost of, uh, cost of uh, you know, uh, the expenditure or the expense which a student is to incur in UK. That will be mm -hmm. our third question. So I start with our first question and that is Sanem. Uh, whether MS or MS plus PhD uh, or direct PhD, what was the option? Yes, sir. So I'll continue from here. And uh, sir, uh, there are two, as you have said, there are two opportunities, MS plus PhD and uh, PhD program, the regular PhD program. Mm -hmm. So I will uh, break down this. So let's say there's a student from uh, bachelor's and mm -hmm. uh, he or she is in third year, third year of their bachelor's right mm -hmm. so i will highly recommend them to start if they are targeting for uh, like if they have done some research paper or have they have their research inclination it's mm -hmm. very much uh, recommended for them that they target uh, they start targeting uh, direct phd programs where they will be covering one year as coursework which is nothing but masters <laughs> So in India, we generally see like, uh, you know, we have five years of uh, curriculum for PhD, even for direct PhD as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, if, if they go to UK, it's like uh, one year they cover for coursework, which is equivalent mm -hmm. to master's and uh, rest of the three years for their PhD. So mm -hmm. in, within four years, they will get their master's and PhD both. And uh, it's it's very efficient because uh, uh, generally, if a person goes for master's program, only mm -hmm. independent master's program, mm -hmm. they have to pay fees, right? There is no funding available there. But if they target like programs like because there are very rare opportunities like you know um, like in the UK where you can pursue MS and PhD together, which are fully funded, and uh, depending on the institution, funding providers. But uh, mostly are fully funded. That's for sure. That means MS, MS plus PhD, even in MS series is going to get scholarship. Yes. And uh, and your advisor will directly take away from your, as soon as you complete your master's, your advisor directly take away uh, from there uh, for your PhD coursework and PhD thesis. Mm -hmm. So there is one university named as University of Edinburgh uh, is very famous for uh, the, for the students, is very favorable for students to go for uh, like direct PhD programs. There are other universities, but Edinburgh is the famous one. Okay. So that means if I'm I'm a B.Tech student in India, uh, if I want to go to UK, I can go for uh, MS plus PhD fully funded. Is that what exactly. you're saying? In exactly. that case, uh, can you tell me how much is the expenditure required for students? Uh, they just need to bear. Uh, so there is something uh, application fees they need to bear, which which is generally you know if they ask for their uh, ask their advisor, they they, they will pay you off. Mm -hmm. And uh, second is uh, they need to maintain the logistics, the rental agreement, and all those things. And they don't need to pay tuition fees and all because that will be paid by the department if mm -hmm. if you are uh, enrolled in your uh, PhD. So send them out of all the courses, only MS may there will be expenditure. PhD may there will not be expenditure, M Tech to PhD and B Tech to MS plus PhD also there will not be any expenditure, right? right. So right. without money, if you want to go to UK, then you have got two options. After B Tech, yes. MS plus PhD and after M Tech, go to PhD, right? Yes, but sir, uh, this MS plus PhD is something, you know, uh, same as a direct PhD program in India, which ah. we see, right? Mm, because yes. there you have to... It is called integrated PhD actually in India. Yes, yes. You have to make an agreement with the professor. Yes. That's there. So you, there are certain credit requirements or uh, CGP requirements that you need yes. to fulfill after first year of master. Mm, wonderful. Now, mm. Sanam, coming to the second part, I have I've seen gone through some universities in the UK and uh, they mentioned a fully funded PhD and self-funded. So what is a self-funded and fully funded? 
So self-funded is the nightmare for Indian students because <laughs> if they will go for self-funded, they need to spend at least 1.5 crores of money. Okay. So self-funded is not at all recommended to anyone. Uh, mm-hmm. Fully funded is something, you know, uh, which you, which I said, like there's one, uh, one method where you can directly approach the professor to get the funding and uh, other pro- other websites you can visit like uh, find a phd or something like that okay. but it's recommended to you know uh, approach professor from your uh, very early stage so that if there is a case of funding uh, with them or if there is funding left you will be easily enrolled if you can prove your candidate mm-hmm. okay yeah so you should only go for fully funded program right yes yes okay now so can the, you te- yeah sanam can you also tell now what is the expenditure to be incurred in all these courses and what is the uh, sort of scholarship which you get because students want to know that if i am going for ms mera kitna kharcha aayega and if i am if i am going for phd mera kitna kama sakta hu those things come to the mind yes, yes. so generally uh, as compared to germany in germany where they pay approximately you know uh, 2000 euros i guess or 1500 euros uh in the same manner uh, they pay they pay in uh, great britain pounds which is uh, roughly equivalent to 2000 or uh, 2500 euros for their monthly stipend which is easily to you know uh, manage your living expenses and uh, paying your tuition fees as well mm-hmm. so वैसे indian currency mein kitna aapko sochna chahiye suppose If I tell my parents send me for MS uh, in UK, how much money they have to keep in mind? Now? For from pocket, I think they if they just need to uh, you know matter about uh, like uh, take care about the logistics because um, if they are going for MS plus PhD or PhD program, they don't need to spend anything. They just need to uh, manage uh, one month rent, which will be required for uh, proving their candidature for visa mm-hmm. and. Uh, your uh, a passport and all those expenses mm-hmm. ielts and all mm-hmm. and other than that there is no requirement of uh, okay okay wonderful so that means if you are going for ms then only you have to spend money otherwise these two routes which you suggested wahan pe kharcha nahi aayega wahan pe aapko income generate ho jayega right especially i would suggest students to you know approach for ms plus phd programs because that is something you know people don't focus and uh, you can get easily i mean even from very you know less known universities in india which are private you can uh, prove your good candidature and go to uh, ms plus phd program yes yes that's wonderful so i think we sum it up here only sanam with this particular information we'll yes. come again next week so you have anything in your mind next week what we want to discuss about this yes sir so next week we can uh, put some more uh, detail about ms phd phd direct phd all these things then mm-hmm. we can also put some efforts like uh, can i mean how to apply for direct phd in the uk mm-hmm. and maybe we can also you know talk about stipend cost of application process mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. how to the direct stuff. phd jo aap bata rahe ho ms plus phd opportunities how to get those opportunities that we should discuss i think that will yes, become very relevant for so so many students who are btech yes, and want yes. to go to uk for uh, ms phd unke liye kafi relevant ho jayega we we'll also talk about like uh, does university ranking matter even indian mm-hmm. university ranking matter or not for these yes. Uh, programs yes we so, talk that we'll talk also about. okay sanam i'll catch you next week thank you yeah.